Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the ASUS ROG7 Ultimate. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price that I paid for this one is 1,500 bucks. I repeat, 1,500 bucks. Now on a side note, this is not the global ROM. This is the Chinese version. If you want it from Giztop, it's available right now. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in one color, storm white. For the display, you got a 6.78 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2448. Now that's 395 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front for protection with an aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass 3 on the back. The phone is IP54, water resistant. You got HDR10+, plus, up to 1500 nits brightness and a 165 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 with the Adreno 740 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, you got 16 gigs of RAM. That's LP DDR5X with 512 gigs of storage. No micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 13 with the ROG skin on top. Now, check this out. You got a 6,000 milliamp battery that features 65 watt fast charge. So that means you can charge this phone from zero to 100% in 42 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a two, <laughs> let me say that again, a two megapixel macro sensor. Now you can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second and 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now in the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot video 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers that feature two amps. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor. You got gaming triggers. You got a motorized cooling vent on the back. You got a two inch OLED display on the back and you got a headphone jack. All right, so all of that for 1500 bucks, what's missing? There's no quad HD display. Okay, now I don't like that for this price, but it is what it is. Next, there's no full IP68 dust and water resistance. There's no wireless charge, no expandable memory, no 4K video from your front facing camera, and no one terabyte version available. Other than that, this is the final boss of gaming phones. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. shoes. Calm down. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the big boy right here. Asus ROG 7 Ultimate. Now, just for a quick comparison, here's one of my favorite phones from last year, the ROG 6 Pro, with the Aeroactive cooling system on the back, with all of the RGB lights, and this beautiful presentation. Let's see if Asus can step it up this year with the same kind of presentation. Now, I don't wanna ruin this one for y'all, but check this out, okay? There's a game built into this presentation. Now, I don't wanna do the spoiler alerts. I'm not gonna show you how it looks because I don't wanna ruin it for you when you get yours, but it's fun, okay? It's like a virtual reality kind of game. Uh, actually, AR, augmented reality, not virtual reality, augmented reality. You use your phone, you point it at this, and it's a full game. It's pretty epic. Now, the box seems like it's made from kind of um, uh, recycled materials. Republic of Gamers, All right, just in case you don't know what ROG stands for, Republic of Gamers. Let's get and pop this open. Now inside, let's see what you get. Okay, now this should be usual books and shit, but let's just make sure. Okay. Usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. You do get a case. Let's see what this case looks like. I right, to choose, that's not your cue to get in the box. Okay, a little stick of struggles with this. Okay, the same kind of case from the 6 Pro. Okay, just a shell kind of case. Okay, this is gonna be your device. Let's see what else you get. Now this is gonna be USB Type-C, the USB Type-C charging cable. I choose, respect that for quality. 65 watt fast charging brick in the box. Let's all say it together. Samsung, Google, Apple, pay attention. I put the charger in the box and give us a real box. Now look at this presentation. Okay, I, I like this. Let's see what else you get. 
Now this looks like a carrying case for your Aeroactive cooling system. Okay, a little zip on this. A little poison for the trolls, let me go ahead and say that. Okay, Asus Brandon on the case. All right, shoes, you wanna inspect that? And of course, the updated version of the Aeroactive cooling system that now actually has a built-in speaker. Now, I know what some of y'all saying. 1,500 bucks, good Lord, that's a lot of money. But do you see what you're getting for your 1,500 bucks? I mean, come on. This is the Aeroactive cooling system. I'll right, be gonna play with this in a minute. And let's take a look at the actual device. Bang, here it is. All right, now let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells like a 10 kill streak. All right, if you play a Call of Duty, you just got a 10 kill streak. It's gonna smell just like this phone. This is so sick. All right, so let me power this up, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the weight of this phone. Now, this is one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about gaming phones, is that they're big and goofy and extra heavy. So I got my scale set to grams. Here's the ROG 7 Ultimate, 248 grams. Now, just for comparison, here's the Red Magic 8 Pro, 228. Here's the Galaxy S23 Ultra, 234. And check this out. Here's an iPhone 14 Pro Max, 254. So if you can carry around an iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can easily carry around an ASUS ROG 7 Ultimate. It's actually lighter. All right, so now let's take a look at the build quality. Again, this one is IP54. Bro, do you see the notifications on the back? <laughs> Let me start over again. Let's take a look at the build quality. This one is IP54 water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, aluminum frame, and Gorilla Glass 3 on the back. Now, this is the Aeroactive Portal. This is a motorized cooling vent. It actually lifts up and allows more air to cool down the phone. You also have the ROG Vision Display on the back. Now, I'm trying to hold my excitement, but I can't. All right, I can't. Let me talk about something real quick, and then we'll get back to the build quality. Now, I just had this conversation the other night at dinner because I had this phone. I was testing it out, taking some photos. And I was talking to my brother, and one of his biggest gripes about this phone was he is not a gamer, okay? And I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I am not a gamer either. So this is one of the comments that I get all of the time. What if you're not a gamer? Is it worth buying this phone? And my answer is yes. Okay, yes. You don't have to be a gamer. Think about it like this. What if you just want a phone that has a big, beautiful AMOLED display with a 165 hertz refresh rate that's going to feel smooth like butter? You want a phone that has a 6,000 milliamp battery. It's gonna last you all day and then some. You want a phone with arguably the best sounding speakers on the market. And you want a phone that has innovation. Do you see that second display on the back? Not only is it innovation, but it's actually functional. And it looks cool as fuck. Look at this. Now, every time I get those notifications on the back, for some reasons, my nipples just get a little bit harder. <laughs> okay. I love this kind of stuff right here. You don't have to be some kind of fucking nerd walking around with a pocket protector playing Genshin Impact all day. You don't have to game on this phone at all to still really enjoy it. Now, I said that to say this. Let's go back to the build quality because this secondary display on the back is just ha, it's getting me hyped. Anyway. So where was we? Frosted glass. Okay, so y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Triple camera setup, LED flash. Again, customizable ROG vision display. It shows you your notifications and you can change this. I'm gonna show you some of the different patterns you can have, but it also works like this. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. I'm gonna plug in my phone. Do y'all see that battery animation? <laughs> look, look, look at the notifications you see this is what i'm talking about all right samsung apple google even xiaomi all right remember when xiaomi had the secondary display on the back it was kind of cool it was actually even more functional because you could use it to take photos and all of that 
But this is perfect right here. Now, when you go to dinner, if you like me and you're a gentleman, you want to put your phone in scumbag mode. All right? Nobody want to be sitting at, at the dinner table like this. You know, you're having a conversation with somebody. They're watching you look at your phone. That's kind of rude. You like to have your phone like this. Have a little class. But you can still see your notifications. Now, one thing I would say to Asus for the ROG 8. It would be nice if you can has, have a little setting where it would actually read that notification on the back or what's interactive where you get that Gmail notification and you can tap on it and it'll just scroll the notification through the whole message. That would be epic. But this alone, I right, this alone as it is, is just still so dope. Now you see when I power my screen on, I got to set to this little message. This is epic. Anyway, now one side, you got your power button. Nice and low where it belongs, Google. Okay, take notes. Volume rocker on the top, nice and clean. On this side, you got another USB Type-C charging slot. Now this is really for your accessories, but this is also, you can plug in your phone if you're gaming. Because if you're gonna game, you don't wanna have your phone plugged in like this with the cable sticking from the side. No, you can grab a cable. Let me see, do I got another one right here? Grab a cable, plug it in and charge from the bottom. So this way when you're rocking out, game just like this, bang. Okay, now these are pressure sensitive gaming triggers, which are fully customizable. Okay, again, USB Type-C, your pins, there's your SIM tray. On the bottom, USB Type-C charging slot. Ladies and gentlemen, on a flagship phone, we got a headphone jack. Now, this is for all y'all fucking banana heads that's always talking about, oh, why are you always talking about headphone jacks? Ain't nobody putting headphone jacks on flagship phones. Open your fucking eyes, okay? This is a headphone jack on a flagship phone. The only thing that's missing with this phone is expandable memory. Because if you're going to be a hardcore gamer, games like Genshin Impact, they take up a lot of space. Okay, so now, now between your games and your photos and your videos and all of that, this does shoot 8K videos. You could probably run through 512 gigs of storage in a year. So this one should have came in a one terabyte version or at least had expandable memory for the games. But hey, it is what it is. On the front, yo, this is another thing too. You got a notification LED. All right, do y'all see that right there? Where is it? Hold up. All right, I think it's on this side. Notification LED. Now, mine's, I'm, I don't got no notifications right now, so it's not going to flash, but there's an actual notification LED on the top. Now, how many times I've been complaining about that, especially on phones that don't have an always-on display? Because if you're going to have your phone in a dock like this, you want that notification. Now, let me see. Do I have any on this one? Let's see. Let me turn this one off. Okay, this is my ROG 6 Pro. One more thing I want to mention, too. I know I'm all over the place with this review, but I'm having too much fun. The Aeroactive Cooler. I've been leaving this on the back of my phone just like this because when I turn the phone off, it turns different colors. So I gotta cycle, I gotta set the cycle so when I got it on my table, it's cycling like this. But when you turn it on, when that display pops up, you get the full colors. Let me go ahead and unlock this one. You get the full RGB colors. You can feel that fan. And this works on the 7. All right, so if you got the Asus ROG 6 or the 6 Pro and you got the Aeroactive Cooler, it does work on the 7. The one from the 7 doesn't work on the 6. Now, one more thing I want to mention. There's one thing that they took away. All right, let me peel this off real quick. If you got the if you got the 7 and we had the 6 Pro, you notice instead of the motorized cooling vent, you had another RGB light. Let me see if I can turn this on. You see, you had another RGB LED. So now, with the Ultimate, if you're a hardcore gamer, you're going to want this vet. But if you're not really into gaming, it would have been nice to just have another RGB light on the back also. Now, one more thing I will say about this Aeroactive Cooler, and I noticed the same thing with the new one. You got to be careful with this little flap on the back because it does pop off easy. Let me put mine back on. Okay, you see what I'm talking about? That little flap on the back? You gotta be careful with it. Because like I said, it pops off rather easily. Same thing with this one. As soon as I took it out, I noticed it almost popped off. You see the notifications on the back? Come on, bro. Anyway, I know. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I love this phone. All right, anyway, let me get a wipe down. Let's get back to business. Okay, now this phone does have some big bezels. Okay, but part of having that big bezel is the notification LED. 
Now you do have always on display, fully customizable. You see all my notifications and you do have your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now there's a few different ways you can open up this device. You got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works absolutely flawless. Let's do three in a row. This time I'll leave the screen off. Bong, just like that. If you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin, and you also got face unlock. Now look at the face unlock. Bong, let's do one more. Bong, and this time I'll not look at it, and then look at it. Bong. Excellent biometrics. Again, even if you're not a gamer, you want a phone that's gonna work and feel super smooth, this is it. And one more side note again, I know it's gonna be a lot of side notes in this video. This is another argument that I have with my brother. He's like, oh, you know, I don't wanna carry around this big and heavy ass gaming phone. And what phone does he have in his pocket? iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I'm like, hold them for yourself. He's like, nah, it feels like about the same. No, it's not. All right, the iPhone 14 Pro Max with a case on it is one of the heaviest phones on the market. This phone is actually lighter. And the case that comes with it, that uh, little plastic shell case, it's not gonna add too much extra weight. Now this is the Chinese version. A lot of people have been asking me what's the difference between the Chinese version and the global version. When you swipe over on the Chinese version, you're not gonna have your Google homepage. And you're also gonna have a lot of Chinese bloatware apps. Like stuff like this, you know, a little Chinese boy bands, you know, the latest in the Xi Jinping saga. You know, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that people in America are probably not gonna care about. Now, if you're Asian or you live in China, you know, this, this might interest you, but if not, Wait for the global version, okay? Just wait for the global version. Or if you like me, who cares? I just I just don't look at this stuff, okay? Because everything else works. These are all shortcuts. This is a performance panel. All of this stuff actually works. And if I want my Google homepage, I just press one button and there it is. Okay, let's get the updates. And there it is. All right, so let's go through some of the basic features. Now, it's a lot to talk about with this phone, but I'm not gonna bore y'all with a lot of the uh, minutia. I will just do <laughs> big words alert. <laughs> we'll just stick with the stuff that's um, exciting. Okay, so here's your quick toggles. You got X mode. Now, this is from an armory crate. Do y'all hear these speakers, bro? From X mode, you can put it in. This is the best performance for gaming. This is dynamic, or this is ultra durable. Okay, so ultra durable, preserve power as much as possible. So if you just wanna use this as a day-to-day -day phone and save battery, bro, I gotta turn this down. I feel like I'm yelling. If you wanna just save battery and use it as a day-to-day -day phone, put it on ultra durable. Dynamic is optimized performance for daily use. Okay, so this is what I usually just rock mines in dynamic, but when you wanna go on beast mode, put it in X mode. Now watch this, I'm gonna show you something. Let's, let's leave, leave it in dynamic. All right, now you see how, you see the background and all my apps? Watch what happens when I put it in X mode. You see that? You see how I just boom, powered up? Everything changed. Now you see the toggles are red. Okay, that lets you know. This is gaming phone stuff that you're gonna like. Put it in ultra durable. Okay. And this is gonna preserve power. It's gonna turn off your always on display. You notice the things are yellow. Put it back on X mode. Bang, there it is, nice and juicy. All right, so there's some more quick toggles. Let's see what else you got, screenshot, screen recorder. You got a memory cleaner, NFC, you got QR code. Of course, you got your AR triggers. AR, uh, let me say that again, ear triggers, not AR, your ear triggers. Let's go to settings. All right, so let's see, more connections. You got NFC, okay, VPNs, private DNS. Okay, you got screencast and screen printing. Okay, let's go to themes and wallpapers. Anything to really see here? No home screen. Now, one of the things also I will say about these Asus phones, they're highly customizable. Okay, highly customizable. Bunch of different themes, a bunch of different stuff to play with. Nice, cool wallpapers. Okay, let's go to display and brightness. Now, this is maximum brightness, 1500 nits. Okay, customizable display. I'll, I'll leave mine on uh, Splendid. Okay, you got splendid, but you got optimal, natural, cinematic, normal, and you could customize it to your leisure. Okay, always on display. Again, customizable. You can have it tap or stay on always. Why not? 6,000 milliamp battery, let it stay on always. Now, you can have a custom image, or you can go through a bunch of ones that they got on deck. All right, let's see. Um, quick set inside panel. Okay, you can change that. You do have edge panels. Okay, we'll play with those in a minute. 
Okay, at LED indicator. Okay, here it is. LED indicator. Okay, light up when charging, flash when notifications arrives. There's an LED indicator built into this phone. Now that might seem like not really a big deal, but when you get the hang of it and you start using it, you're gonna realize why you miss that. A lot of y'all old school dinosaurs like me, y'all remember all of the phones used to have notification LEDs because there was no always on display. Well, now I have an always on display and LED, just keep your scumbag uh, activities even better. All right, makes your scumbag, uh, <laughs> your, your scumbag status easier to maintain. Let's see, was there anything else I wanted to see here? Okay, that was display and brightness. Oh, matter of fact, I wanted to show y'all one thing with the display and brightness. Okay. Eye protection is always on display. Quick center on display. Okay, front side. Okay, refresh rate. Oh, no wonder. Okay, I got it in um, X mode. Let me turn off X mode. Okay, so for your refresh rate. Okay, let's see. Try to turn off ultra durable. Oh, look at this. Now I haven't even played with this part yet. Okay, let me turn let me turn that off. Let me see. Let's go to dynamic. Okay. Dynamic. Now we'll exit out of that. Refresh rate. So you got auto. You got 165, 144, which is already crazy, 144, but 165, 90, or 60. Now, you can put it on auto if you want, but you just drop 1500 bucks, put it on 165, and just feel this super buttery smooth scrolling. You could, It's not, it's not going to translate on camera, but trust me, when you use this phone in the real world, you're going to be like, yo, <laughs> you're going to be like, bro. What is this? Anyway, let's keep it moving. Let's see. Um, all right, sound and vibration. Now, here's the thing. Look at this. Hold up. Let's... Now, I'm going to do a real sound test. I got to be honest with y'all. I was a little disappointed because the speakers actually sound a little bit better on the 6 Pro than the 7 Ultimate. Now, I don't know if that's because of the... Then on the back, if they had to switch some stuff around, I don't know. But I, I got the speakers set up with the same EQs and all of, all of the same settings. And the speakers on the 6 Pro sound a little bit better. A little bit better. But these are still, I would say, if these are number one in the world, these are easily number two. Easily number two. And you wouldn't even notice that they sound a little bit worse unless you had both of these side by side. Now, if I pull this out and pull out a Galaxy and we play music side by side, you're going to be like, yo, this is a Bluetooth speaker compared to a Galaxy. You got volume syncing, you got outdoor mode, which I leave it on to make it even louder, okay? You do have fully functional EQ, which I'll show you how that works in a minute. All right, notifications, nothing to really see there. Let's see, uh, screen lock, fingerprint sensor, face unlock, smart lock, all the usual stuff, battery. Okay, 6,000 milliamp battery. Same as last year's version, this phone right here, it's hard for you to make the battery die. That's why I leave all of this stuff on. I leave my secondary display on the back while my screen is on. I leave all of the animations, everything on max brightness, and you're still gonna get easily, and I mean easily, a 12 hour workday with no problems. You can charge this phone every other day, basically, especially if you play with the battery setting uh, features. So we got different modes, you got dynamic, Ultra down, I already covered that. Let's see, um, charging animation, why not? Okay, battery care. That's all your battery settings. Let's go to security. Okay, full security suite. Why keep tapping shit? <laughs> all right, let's see, um, privacy, nothing to see there. Smart assistant. Okay, system navigation, okay, you got gestures. Let's see, any gestures. Lift to check the phone, flip down to mute. Okay, music controls, these are with the screen off. Okay, so you got some double, let's see, double tap power on, why not? Oh, I wanna show y'all something else too. This phone has the squeezology. You got one-handed mode, pocket mode, glove mode, screenshot, screen record, accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is on deck. Edge tool, okay, that's your edge panels. You can manage your uh, applications, arrange them in order, add more, delete some, go crazy. You got your OptiFlex. Okay, you got Game Genie. Okay, now I'll, I'll, we'll talk about more of this stuff in a minute. And your air triggers. Now you can customize these air triggers for have to have different functions. Now I wanna show you something real quick. Let's go to, let's leave out of this. This is the squeezeology. You see, I squeezed it and turned on my flashlight. 
That's one of my settings. Now you can set it to open up different apps and uh, different functionality. Watch if I squeeze it long, right to my camera. This is so dope now. I remember other phones had this. This is not a new feature, but you got your phone in your hand and you're chilling somewhere. Oh shit, somebody about to get punched in the mouth. All I gotta do is squeeze my phone and I start recording just like that, bang. Okay, I get in my car, drop some contraband, quick squeeze, flashlight. Now, if you're on the gram a lot and you're into, you know, checking out cheeks all day long and you're doing a lot of screenshots, you can set it to when you're scrolling, squeeze and get a quick screenshot. Scroll, squeeze, get a screen record. Like, you could go crazy with it. So a lot of features on that. I like that. Okay, so that's your, let's see, that's your smart assist. Okay, you got a card holder. Okay. Um... No reason to put my, I don't put my bank cards in these uh, Chinese phones. No disrespect to my man Xi Jinping, but you know what I'm saying? I, got, I, I must not know it. I'm sorry. Uh, let, me, let me stop. I'm, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. Uh, let me see. Um, accounts, Google, system updates, RG phone tips, and about phone. Okay, 16 gigs of LP DDR5X RAM. This is, a, this, this is basically a laptop. Okay, 512 gigs of storage, which brings me to another... A uh, uh, little, uh, let's say, uh, I, I want to call it a kerfuffle. A little kerfuffle I was having with my brother at the dinner table. Saying, why not just get a Steam Deck? All right, if you're into gaming like that, why not get a Steam Deck? And my reply to that is, a Steam Deck doesn't have a camera. Okay? A Steam Deck doesn't have built-in internet. The you know, 5G service. The Steam Deck, you got to go connect to Wi-Fi and all of that. You know, there's no keyboard on it. You know, a Steam Deck is really a gaming console. This is a phone. This is a phone that happens to be, you know, you could put that, you know, Aeroactive Cool on the back with the triggers, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and turn it into a gaming console. But at the end of the day, this is really a phone. All right, this is really a phone. 165 hertz, 6,000 milliamp battery, front-facing speakers, crazy Android 13, craziness. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. Now, real quick, oh, matter of fact, what am I talking about? That's pretty much it for that. We got to go to the Armory Crate. Where is that? Armory crate. Okay. Let's go through some of the... <laughs> shoes, calm down, bro. Let's go through some of the different features. Now, if you look closely, this is the nerd part of the video. You got your CPU, your GPU. I shows your gigs, your memory, your storage. Let me turn this shit down a little bit. Oh, and speaking of that, you got different EQ settings, dynamic music, cinema. Let me do that one more time. Okay, so you got dynamic, music, cinema, or game. Now leave mine's on uh, dynamic. It sounds awesome though. All right, anyway, ROG Vision. Let's play with this for a minute. Now we're gonna have to turn the phone like this. So these are the different patterns that you can have on your back of your display. So when my screen is on, anytime my screen is on, you're gonna see this display right here. This is gonna be on the back of your phone. So let's try some different ones. Okay, let's try the lightning. Look at that. Hold up. That's pretty sick. Let's see now. Now I don't have to keep showing you the back of the phone. I just want to, let's just breeze through. Matter of fact, why not? Y'all paid good money to watch this video. Might as well enjoy it. A t uh, this is a nice clock right here. This is cool. So if you want to have it on the table like this, got a nice little clock. Bong just like that. Okay. But there's a lot. There's a lot. A lot of screen on gestures. You got the motorcycle. Okay. Little Asus one. Plenty of clocks. But look at this. This is what I'm talking about. There's a lot. There's a lot. Okay. This one right here. Okay. <laughs> Shoes is wild. All right. So let's see. Um, I'll leave it on. Let's leave. I like to leave mine on something that's kind of spicy. All right. This one right here looks good. So we'll leave it on this one. When the screen is on, we got something like that. All right. So now. You got external accessories. Okay, now I'm gonna connect that in a minute. Okay, matter of fact, let's, let, let me go back to that. Okay, so you got X mode. So when you put your phone in X mode, it's gonna switch this on the back, but look at some of the different um, X mode animations you got. Okay, there's that one. This one. Now I'm not gonna go through all of them, but that green one is fired up. Let's get and apply that. Okay, so you've seen the screen on already. Battery charging, all right? So when you charge up your battery, you can have one that looks like the space shuttle. Okay, little bars right there. 
This is like, um, looks like a little video game. And I like this one. This is the one I use right here. This one is kind of dope too. It actually shows you the battery percentage. We can ahead and leave that one. But a bunch of different ones to choose from on that. Okay. Now, when you're playing a game, when you're actually gaming, you want people to see that you're gaming. Okay. So we got game start. <laughs> okay. So this way, if somebody's sitting across from me in a coffee shop, they know that I'm gaming. They're going to be clocking the back of my phone and it's going to be looking like this. How dope is that? Okay. So a bunch of different um, playing game animations. I'll leave it on this one right here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, that screen on, okay, charging, playing game, and incoming calls. All right, so when you're getting incoming calls, this one's pretty cool too. Now, it would have been dope if it showed the actual phone number, but it just says incoming call. Maybe maybe it would be nice if you can have it to set whether you want to show the number or not. So this way, when you're in scumbag mode, you don't want somebody's, you don't want Pizza Hut popping up on the back. <laughs> nah, you don't want that. You'd rather just incoming call. Okay, I see what they did with that. Okay, cool. And if you want to, you can import or you can actually create your own. Yeah? How sick is that? How sick is that? All right, so let's see. So that's uh, so that's pretty much it for the screen on. Let's do the screen on one more time. Now, I actually never tried to create one. Text effects. Let's see. King of ROG. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even know I could. Um, now, we're learning this together. Let's try something real quick. Let's do floss. You know what I'm saying? Why not? I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, okay. Um, let's just do flossy then. You only get a certain amount of letters. Okay, let's see. And you can change the... Oh, you can change the actual fonts. Now, I'm such a noob because I never actually even played with this. We'll do, we'll do the rocket like that. Of course, we got to do red. Why not? Oh, okay. Okay, and there it is. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see. Okay, so do we have that custom one saved? Now, there's a lot to choose from. Let me see what's on the back right now. All right, well, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll play with that. But you see it for yourself. If you want to, you can create your own. Oh, wait a minute. Why does So how does this, um, how does it have that many letters right now? Okay, look, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gotta we're gonna have to try this right now though. I know some of y'all getting triggered right now, but hell, it is what it is, bro. Oh, how you didn't know that. I live in the real world, bro. Okay. Okay, there it is. So we got the full text right there. Oh, this is a signature, no wonder. That, that was something different. Okay, so we could change the actual speed. Okay, oh look at that. Nice little speed right there. Get all kind of colors, all type of colors. We'll do RGB. Okay. Processing. It says we'll connect soon. Okay, we'll save image. Why not? Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. Now let's hit apply. <laughs> okay, now this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna leave. We're gonna have to leave that one. All right, now I'm I'm glad we did this together, y'all. Cause um, oh, I'm gonna have fun with this one. Now when I'm on a date, you know, I can have my girl's name showing up right there in the back, make them feel important. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of shit I like to do. All right, anyway, let's let's exit out of that. All right, so that's the um Rogue Vision. All right, so Rogue Vision, pretty dope. Now you got your Aero Active Cooler Seven. This is the six right here. You got your Ten Cent Accelerator, Game Genie, Air Triggers. This is it right here, unboxing mission. Now, when you get, like I said, I don't want to be the uh, spoiler. This the speaker, man. I don't want to do the spoiler right now because it's going to take, a, you spend 1500 bucks on the phone. You want to experience this for yourself, but make sure you go to unboxing mission, hit go and use that, that box that, you know, the part that came with the box and do the unboxing mission. I actually started it and then I saved it because I want to do it again later, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, so you got your game library. Okay, let's see. Um, I got Asphalt 9. That's probably about it. You got a game store. And that's pretty much it. So now let's um, go ahead and connect the Aero Active Cooler. Let me do that real quick. All right, now I just put the Aero Active Cooler on the back. 
You could feel the wind coming from this. Look at the RGV lights glistening. I mean, this is just so sick. And you got this little piece right here. Like I said, just be careful when you're pulling it down. Just open it up like that. And this is how you rock it on your desk like this. Now, I've been leaving mine on my table like this. Okay, and it's gonna look like, look at, look at those RGV lights. You could feel the wind coming from the sides of this. Now these are actually game and triggers. It does have another headphone jack and a USB type C charging slot. So you can charge your phone, use your headphones at the same time. Now from the actual phone, you see the AeroActive cooler. Now it's lit up. Let's go to more settings. Now it shows cooler temperature, system temperature, more settings. Okay, so we got different cooling modes. So we got smart, cool, frosty, or frozen. Okay, now, look at that. I'm going to put it right by the mic. You could feel the wind coming from this. All right, that, that, that's pretty epic. Let's leave it on frosty. Why not? Lighting controls. Okay. All right, so incoming calls. When the phone is getting the incoming call. Look at all of these lights. Bro, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to leave all of this on. Power button, look at this static. Of course, we're gonna get maximum brightness. We, yeah, we, yeah, we, I think this is it. All right, so uh, music. Okay, flash with the sound. Ooh, yes, 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 why not? Okay, flash with the sound. Notifications, all apps, of course, why not? Let's see, um, you got charging. Okay, mode one or mode two. Okay, it's gonna show change actual colors. Now, that's the thing I've been using with that one. It does the same thing. Okay, let's see, uh, screen on, mix lights, maximum brightness, maximum RGB. <laughs> you know what I'm saying we need? Let's see, we got uh, sync breathing, mono breathing, static, ascending breathing. Look at that. That's pretty dope. All right, so let's see. Um, we'll leave it on. Let's see. Async breather. Why not? Okay, so we got screen off. Now, let's see. Screen off. And yeah, we'll leave it with screen off, too. Max brightness. Who cares about battery? Okay, put it on medium. Okay, that's pretty much it for that. Okay, so we got interactive portal. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, launch sounds, launch animation. This is how it looks. Or that vent opens up on the back. Woo! <laughs> you know that? All right, let's see. Uh, I know. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Let me act like you just got a phone for the first day. Let's see. We got a little tutorial. Disable fan when microphone is active. Now, one thing I will say, this also has a built-in speaker. So we're going to do a sound test. But first, we'll do the sound test without the AeroActive cooler on and do it with the AeroActive cooler act after that. I just wish this piece wasn't as flimsy on the back. But it is what it is. We'll leave it on the table just like this. Now, when you got your desktop set up at night, this looks so epic. Matter of fact, let's see how I'm side by side. Let's put on um last year's version. Let's see how they look next to each other with the AeroActive coolers. Okay. Here's the difference in the AeroActive. Yeah, you see, look how big this one is. Now, I actually been walking around with this one in my pocket. You see when it's charging up, it's just blinking this color like this, but when it's fully charged, it'll be green. And then I got this one set up also, so when I turn the screen on, you get the full colors. Let's see, let me let me get it, unlock this. Okay, this one, same thing, full colors. <laughs> Shoes, don't get scared. Shoes, calm down, bro. Okay, look at this, though. <laughs> this, this one looks even better. Little ROG lights. As I can see, I'm having way too much fun. All right, so let me get it now. In order to take this off, you press the button in the top. This pops up. You see, when you put this on, this also turns into a new power button. All right, so you use that as the power button. All right, so let's see. Now, I'm going to leave mine off. Let's see what it looks like. You see, when the screen is off, it's going to be like this. So if I'm just chilling out somewhere, I can just leave this on the table like this. But then when I, screen, when I, when I turn my screen on, Look at the colors. All right. <laughs> Let me take this up. All right, now press the button right there. That pops up and just peel this right off. All right, so now let's do, um, let's check the web browsing speeds. Okay. Go to apple.com. 
Okay. Boom, look at that. Snapdragon 8 Generation 2. You already know. 165 hertz. Bro, look at this. Now, on camera, it just looks like regular scrolling, but in real life, it feels like if your finger was, you know, if you got a hot finger and you just dip it in some, some warm butter and just pushes right in like that. <laughs> you know, see with the two fingers? <laughs> let me stop. All right, let's see. Let's, uh, let's see. We got so Let's do a little split screen multitasking. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. Split the top. Let's do... Um, let's do it on the bottom. We'll do Facebook. Matter of fact, let's do Facebook and Apple. Okay, so there's Facebook, Apple, at the same time, multitasking like a beast. Y'all yeah, know I gotta say it. Apple Mafia, eat your heart out, because you can't do this on your $1,500 iPhone. So don't even come at me talking about prices. Okay, now you can resize this. Let's see any other options. Okay, open as a window. Okay. Okay, so we got the floating windows. Okay, so this way if I want to do uh, YouTube, do YouTube, have this as a floating window. Then if we want to, full screen. Let's float it again. Put it as a little bubble and move it around. So now I can go to Instagram. As I'm up on Instagram, I want to go back to Facebook real quick. Bang, there's your Facebook. And we get the full screen. Okay, multitasking, beast mode. Which, another side note, okay, keep, keep somebody keep track of how many side notes is in this video. The, the amount of side notes, I could just do a separate video. But this phone right here, the Asus ROG 6 Pro, this is the phone that made me retire my Google Pixel 7 as my work phone. I've been using the Asus as my work phone, and this right here, this is my guaranteed new work phone. 16 gigs of RAM, Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna, no, no shortage of ramage. I, this maximum ramage, maximum storage on this phone, and look how smooth it is. Now I have my home screen transi uh, transitions, <laughs> transmissions. I have my home screen transitions set to random. So every time I swipe, you see it's a different animation or a different uh, transition. Let's go to, let's see, um, da da da. Okay, where was that? Da, da, da. Edit home screen, preferences. Okay. Yeah, you know, themes. Okay, different themes and all that. But, um, yeah, you can play with that for yourself, though. Let's see, wallpapers and styles. Oh, matter of fact, did I, did I show y'all the Asus wallpapers? Okay, you can change it. Wallpaper, let's see. Okay, yeah, so you got a few different live ones. This is the dark matter flow right here. Oh, matter of fact, okay, let, let, let's do my beautiful widgets live. I, I actually been rocking this one on some of my phones. I forgot I even had it on this phone. Okay, we'll leave that one. Now let's see anything else. And you got the TikTok. All right, so exit out. Yeah, this one, I, this one is kind of cool, right? The beautiful weather live, because right now this is the weather outside. Okay, sixty-four degrees. Yeah, beautiful. Now, it looks like, I don't know why it looks like sunset. Oh, I got the wrong time set on this. Oh, that is the right time. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe not. Anyway, web browsing speeds, immaculate. All right, so now let's talk about one of my favorite features about this phone, the dual stereo speakers with built-in amps. Other than the ROG 6 Pro, these are the best sounding speakers that I've heard on any phone yet. Now, of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Check this out. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? Did y'all hear this? You could feel the bass. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Ah. 
ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. Now, I want to show you something real quick, though. Watch this. Hold on, I'm going to restart this. Watch this. Now, here's the 7 Pro. Here's the 6 Pro. Listen to the difference. This is the 7. Now here's the six. Yo, sound test, tough a sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, tough a sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, floss? How's it sound, floss? How's it sound? How's it sound? Now? now, it might be hard to hear on camera. They both sound amazing, but the six actually sounds a little bit louder. But still, I would put these at number two. Now, let's try out the Aeroactive Cooler with the speaker built into it. All right, now I just connected the Aeroactive Cooler in the back, and I pressed play on this video, and I wish I was recording so you could catch my natural reaction, but this Aeroactive Cooler has a speaker built into it. So if you think the speakers already sound good, listen to this. Yo, sound test, type of sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, type of sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, floss? How's it sound, floss? How's it sound? Bro, do you hear this? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on? Let me see, we're gonna set this up like this. On your desk? Bro. Bro, this is insane. This is crazy. Alright, now look. <laughs> Hold on, let me pause. I gotta tell y'all a true story. Now, I'm not even making this up. <laughs> News when somebody say I'm not making this up, chances are they could be making it up. This is a true story. I was on vacation last year with this phone. Okay, now, as soon as my girl, me and my girl, we linked up in the hotel room, right? Um, we in Vegas, we get ready to, you know, go out to dinner. So I said, okay, I'm gonna unpack after dinner. So I'm ironing my clothes, and I just unpacked a few clothes just to iron real quick. So I had this phone right here with the Aeroactive Cooler just on the table, playing music. So she came in the room and she was like, oh, you unpacked the speakers already. I'm like, nah, not yet. So she's like, hold up, so where's that music coming from? I'm like, the music is coming from this phone right here. Both of us, our minds was kind of blown. Because even right now, and I'm down in my basement, it sounds loud. But if you're in a, in a room with somebody else and you're playing this, they're not going to believe that that sound is coming from these uh, speakers on the phone. Now with this Aeroactive Cooler, this is basically a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, it's a little mini Bluetooth speaker. I'm sold. Okay, I'm completely sold. Again, even if you're not into gaming and you just want a media phone, bro, look at this. Okay, I am sold. Yo, one more side note. I am having so much fun. I picked up the phone. I forgot I changed the back to the custom signature. And it just caught me out the side of my eye. And I was like, yo, hold up. How that happen? Bro, this is just too much fun. This is so dope. Shoes! This is too much fun. All right, now let's test out the display. All right, so now let's take a look at this big, beautiful 6.78 inch AMOLED display. Here we go. Now let's get full screen. As you can see, you got a little bit of bezels, but not too much, not too crazy. Excellent viewing angles. 1500 nits brightness, 165 hertz refresh rate. This is incredible. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I would rather have a bit of a bezel than a cutout for the camera. Okay, so you got your camera and your notification LED. It just makes it look like a clean screen. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little gaming. Now, usually I play Asphalt 9, but since this is a dedicated gaming phone, we're going to try one of the big boy games. We got Genshin Impact. Now, let's get maximum volume. Look how incredibly loud this is. And let's uh, get busy. Okay. Now, this is my first time playing this, so y'all got to bear with me. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. Oh, I can run? Okay. Let's go. 
Who that? Who that? Come in. Uh oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me find out I'm about to be on Genshin Impact. Yep. All right. Let's 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 let's. Anyway, so as you can see though, it's running nice and smooth. Let's see. This game took like about an hour to load up. <laughs> let's see. Okay. See if I could do anything. All right. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in this game, but you see for yourself. Look how smooth it's running, though. Fucking Genshin in back. Okay, am I going the wrong way? Now, I didn't read the um the monologue or the dialogues. But it looks like it could be fun. All right, let's, let, let, all right, let's actually do something. Let's go to this guy right here. He looked like he got some treasure or something. Yeah. Who's that? Okay, let's go. Okay. Getting my Genshin on, yeah. All right, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. What they talking about? What you, what you doing, bro? Oh, teleport? How do I teleport? All right, anyway. <laughs> the fuck? I'm trying to teleport, yeah. Let me, let me get one of them teleports, bro. Uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> All right, there it is. Okay, let me go ahead and teleport there. In that case, let's see. Follow. Okay, I gotta follow the map. Okay, <laughs> this is some extra nerd shit, but yeah, let's do it. All right, so I gotta follow the map. All right, let's see. Looks like I gotta go back this way. All right, anyway. <laughs> The fuck? Yeah. Hold on, let me see. It looks like I, I'm, I'm supposed to be going over there, right? Wanderer's Trail? Okay. I'm trying to find Wanderer's Trail. Anybody know where Wanderer's Trail? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know where Wanderer's Trail is there, yeah? Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, this is cool. All right, all right. All right, hold on. All right, Wanderer Trail look like it's up there somewhere. Yeah. Hold on, it look like it might be up there somewhere. Yeah. I'm getting closer. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Let's see, hold up. Let's, let's, let's go. <laughs> let, let's see, let, let's. Okay, here we go. Okay, I see something right there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm about to rage quit in like T minus, T minus two minutes to rage quit. All right, anyway, yeah. let's try a little Asphalt 9 real quick. All right, so you know we got to play a little Asphalt 9. I just want y'all to see how this runs. Now, one more side note. I can't stress how loud these speakers are. Watch this. Let's get maximum volume. With the Aeroactive Cooler, the speaker is incredible. All right, let's go. Do y'all hear this? All right, hold up. I almost said this is too loud. Almost. Okay, let's go. Now this is my kind of game, right? Oh, he's trying to. Oh, he's trying to. Oh, they trying to go. Let's go. Oh, they trying to get funky right now. Chill, bro. Hold up. Let's go. Yeah, oh, they try. Yeah, they try, They ain't playing around today. Yet. I'm out. Let's go. We get a little drip. You see that drip right there? Look out. Look at that. All right. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm yelling. Anyway, gaming on the Asus ROG 7 Ultimate is the ultimate experience, okay? Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the final boss of gaming phones. Now, right after that, I like the uh, Red Magic, but this is an all around better experience. All right, so before we take a look at the camera, there's one more thing I want to show you. Now, remember earlier I was playing with the Rogue Vision display and I figured out how to put my name on the back? Watch this. Now we got an actual picture on the back. Bro, how sick is this? Now, let me show you how I did that. And I'm just going to open this up. Let's go to the armor crate, right? So we're going to go to screen on, right? So let's go to add create this time I'm gonna use an image 
So let's find, um, this time we'll do the back. Now say I wanna add image like this. Okay, so we'll do just the, the little M logo, the plate, and the symbol, right? Now we got different uh, filters. Okay, so you got firework, you got twist. I like the twist one. You got sideshow. Rhombus. I ain't really feeling that one too much words. And you got split. This is kind of dope too. But I think I like the firework one also. So let's go ahead and save that one. Okay, then we hit apply. And look at the back. Hold up, let me, um, oh, I entered X mode. Let me go, let me just exit out of that. Look at the back. Oh, look at that. This is sick. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now, one of the things that turns a lot of people off from gaming phones is mediocre cameras. Okay, you've seen the Red Magic camera, not the best in the world. I will say this, the Asus RG7 has the best gaming phone camera out. Let's go through the different shooting modes. You got slow motion. You got time lapse. You got video. Now video, you can zoom all the way up to four times. You can also shoot 8K at 24 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second. You got photos. So you can do wide angle all the way up to eight times zoom. Not the most zoom in the world. You got portrait mode. Okay. You got night mode, panorama, light trail, and more. So you got pro mode, macro, and pro video. All right, so take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you just spent 1500 bucks on the gaming phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now one of the things that I like to check first is the charging animation. Now this phone has plenty of different lights and effects, but let's check this one out first. Okay, look at that. <laughs> I like that. It says fast charge. And if you notice on the back, you see it's yellow. Once it's fully charged, this will be green. So this is how I have to leave my phone on the table at night, just like this. So you got your always on display. So now when I wake up, let's unplug it. You see how fast those biometrics are? I ain't even get a chance to pick it up. Pick it up and look at it. Bong, just like that. Do that one more time. Just look at it. Bong. Right to the phone. Now I like to leave the Aeroactive cooler on. Gives it a little bit more grip. And this one with the built-in speaker is just gonna make it even more fun. All right, so the first thing I like to do, check the weather. Okay, 64 degrees, sunny. Looks like a beautiful day in New York City. Next, let's um, let's do a little bit of work. Okay, so let's take it over to Gmail. Okay, so we got some work stuff we gotta do. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and pop the cooler off for now, since we gotta do some work. All right, so let's reply to some emails. Thanks, bro. Okay. That's some movie stuff right here. My AMC <laughs> ticket ticket membership. Look how fast this scrolling is though. Okay, so that's how my work email is gonna look. Scroll through just like that. Exit out of that. All right, so now it's time to have a little bit of fun. And in the meantime, <laughs> do y'all see that picture? The oh, look at the notifications. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I like to see. Okay, the cool factor. Even if you're not a big gamer, this phone has a lot of cool factor. All right, so now what are we gonna do? Let's take it over to, um, let's go to Facebook. She was going down on Facebook. All right, here we go. Okay, between threes, I got those coming up. Oh man, this this one, this one, this is why I was kind of down. This is my old uh, karate instructor who recently passed away. This one kind of broke my heart. I was kind of down all week behind that, but this is one of the guys that actually taught me how to throw my hands as a young man. I uh, got a lot of got a lot of respect for this guy right here, man. Ah, that one broke my heart. Anyway, let's keep it moving. All right, so everybody looking good on Facebook. All right, G Shocks. Okay, I hear that speaker. Come on, man, Iceberg Hammers. You know what I'm saying? This is one of my dudes. You can see that me and we around the same age. Look how he dressed. No tight pads, Timberlands. You know we 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 dinosaurs, bro. We dinosaurs. All right, that look good. What is that? I don't know, it looks like some Greek stuff, but it looks good, I'll take it. Whatever it is, I'll taste it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look at my cousin. All right, this is my cousin right here. We went to dinner the other night. He's younger than me, but he you know, he, he had gray hair since we was in high school. He always had gray hair and he just embraces it now, he don't care. But this is my cousin right here, my, my younger cousin. <laughs> Believe it or not. Word, yeah, we had dinner, he's a, he's a cool dude right here. Look at my man Tracy, all right, this is one of my, my old bullies back in the days. Yo, you know, he used to bully me back in the days. <laughs> Well, he's my guy, though. He's my guy. My own girl, Tiffany. All right. <laughs> my man, Tracy, used to be bullying me, bro. Tell you. Now, I think I'm about to get one of these through this Anchor Transformer uh, battery pack. Okay. Let's keep it moving, man. You see the thing? I you see, I got I to gotta keep scrolling through Facebook quick because it's a lot of stuff that get me depressed on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people that I'm, you know what I'm saying, that passed away that I don't want to get all emotional right now. All right, anyway, so here's how your Facebook's going to look. So anyway, matter of fact, say I want to get emotional later. Let's go ahead and, um, <laughs> let's, oh, let's go ahead and uh, split screen and do something else at the same time. So we'll go, matter of fact, let's exit out of that. We'll, we'll, we'll save that for later. Let's go to Twitter. All right, so my man John Rittinger, he got the, this is, what, what is that, an iPad in the car? <laughs> Oh man, got the big boy iPad. Let's go to mentions. Now I haven't been on um to it in a while, so let's see. Here's your new bass test song. A lot of people been giving me bass test songs. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. Now what is he talking about here? How do I be getting in these threads? Let's see. Okay. Google Tensor flagship or mid range. Okay. Now how did I get, how did I come up into this into this? Let's see. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Okay. Let's see, still a flagship. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know how I got dragged into this conversation, but um, the Google Tensor chip, I like it. I actually like it. All right, let's see. Um, anything else we need to see? This is Twitter. 
Okay. Yeah. See, Twitter. Has, this is this is the thing about Twitter, man. You be in you be in a lot of a lot of conversations that don't really got nothing to do with you. Uh, somebody got the um the speaking, the Apple Watch, the clear one. Okay, know that I respect that. Okay, not to be confused with Shock G. <laughs> G Shock is not Shock G, bro. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see, Wilma. Okay, let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Mark Rubier. Look, now this is the guy who does my sound test video. I know Mark Rubier. Out in the park getting busy. Okay, that's my guy right there. All right, let's see anything else. Okay, let's see. See, look, uh, there's a baby crying. Thank God I got some ANC headphones. You know what I'm talking about? For real, yep. Yeah. All right, anyway. Okay, Hypercube by Flossie Carter. Uh, the Hypercube, man. Woo! The Hypercube. I know a lot of y'all didn't like the price on that, and I got to keep telling y'all fucking banana heads over and over, I don't make the price, okay? I do not make the price. I'm using this right now in my little gaming setup, and the Hypercube is just so dope. Uh, look, is, is it overpriced? Yes. But does that take away from the um, the fun a fun effect of it? No, uh, a lot of stuff is over is overpriced. But does that mean that it's not good? No, a lot of people is like, oh, I can make this shit myself. I well, I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I can't. I don't got time for that shit. I, I'm not. You know what I'm saying I'll be out in the world, you know, doing things. I don't got time to be making fucking hypercubes. All right, let's see. Oh, somebody just got the look. This is on his galaxy. The same on my galaxy right now, bro. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about. Same one on my Galaxy right now. Anyway, all right, so this is Twitter. Let's exit out of that. Now, remember, even if you're not into gaming, you don't have to just use these phones for gaming. Okay, let's um, split screen multitasking, Facebook, Twitter at the same time. Exit out of all of that. Floating windows. Open up Facebook, matter of fact. Let's, um, let's minimize that. So just in case I want to um, get emotional later, I have that right there ready to go. All right, so let's see what's next. Let's take it over to TikTok. Okay, I'm going to turn this shit down. Okay, hold up. Did I even... Okay, I haven't even been on TikTok on this phone yet. Okay, log into one of my breeze... <laughs> one of my breezy accounts here. You know what I mean? It's like be stalking people on TikTok. All right, let's see. All right, calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going down on TikTok. Okay, shorty got the hands. Okay, look at them handles, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, she was like, "What you?" She was like, "I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed." She was like, "Oh, but I'll be doing this. I've been doing this since the third grade, man. Get out of here with that shit. I like that. I like that." Okay, let's see. Damn, bro. What? what? <laughs> be sliding in the DMs just like that, bro. That's how y'all be sliding in the DMs. Okay. Yeah, shoes. Yeah, look, yeah, shoes. Look at you. Look at look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right, shoes. All right, chill. I'm chill. See, this why this why I don't like to get shoes started, yo, because she she don't know how to stop you. All right, who's this tipsy bartender? Okay, little drink recipes. Okay, and again, at any moment, I could go back to my um Facebook. But I'll leave it closed. All right, so here's TikTok. Look at Amaya right there. Extra strength. Oh, we, we, we throwing blows? These real blows? Oh, we throwing blows? I ain't, okay, let's see. Dude ain't got no hands, though. You could, Oh, he about to get knocked. I hope he get knocked out. Please, please get knocked out. I hope this guy right here gets knocked This is the kind of stuff I See, look. All right. you know, this is what I be doing. I be watching. I be like, in my mind, I be like, please get knocked out. Come on, shoes. I be like, please get knocked out. All right, we got Meek Mills. All right, you know. Guys, spending a couple of dollars. See, Meek spending a quick 30000 30, Okay. All right. <laughs> See, it's, it's, okay, this is a family. Uh, this is a family uh. All right, let's. See. Oh, that's what says um, Mercedes Benz. Oh, the new sprinters. Okay. My man, Iceberg Hammers. Teacher fight student. Okay, let's go. Let, let, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Teacher with it. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Teacher with the shits or not? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, oh, see, that's what I'm saying, man. That, that, you see, you know, don't, don't get me hyped like that. Shout out to my man, Max. All right, this is my jeweler right here. He made this chain for Buster Rhymes. Yo, do y'all see this chain, yo? He made this chain for Buster Rhymes the other day. Now, we was having dinner, and he was telling me about this. I was like, bro, I got to see it. And this is how it came out. 
Bro, look at this. <laughs> Buster Rhymes, he big enough to be wearing this shit, though. He, he got a big enough neck for this shit. Watch this, yo. Watch how it looks, though, yo. Look at this, yo. <laughs> Bro, that is crazy. That is crazy. This is the kind of stuff I like, though, man, you know? I like I like big gordy jewelry. Yeah. That's how that's, that's how I grew up, man. I guess say because why they call me flossy. Anyway, all right. So that's your TikTok. Let's see anything else. Let's take it over to now. If you go to YouTube, want to watch a video? Click on the video. Exit out. Look at that speaker. Picture on picture. Close it up. Okay. I could go back to my Facebook at any moment. Exit out of that. Remember, it's not all about gaming. Okay, this is just a, a straight media beast right here. And when you put this on, woo, woo. All right, let's take it over to Instagram. See what's going down. Let's get a fresh refresh. Okay, so we got Boost NYC. You know, they, these are, you know, Unbox Therapy. What do you got today? iPhone 15 Ultra. Okay, let's Okay, it's iPhone 15 Ultra. Okay, hold up iPhone 15 Ultra. Let's watch that one more time. You see, now this is the kind of shit that I don't like, and I hope this ain't really it. But then again, it probably will be. You know, this is an iPhone 14. Just, it's it just, you know, damn Apple. You you got phones coming out with shit like this, and Apple, here we go again. But you know, we all a bunch of fucking idiots. We gonna buy them shits anyway, yeah. Instead of buying cool phones like these, we all gonna walk around and buy another stupid ass iPhone like this here. You, look, look at the difference. You got phone. I know some people. This this phone ain't everybody's style. Like it might look a little nerdy to some people, but look at the type of innovation on this compared to this bullshit. I'm sorry, man. All right, we see the blue face captures Aftermath Christine is trying to set his house on fire. Yo, this is right. So one of them gonna be in jail. I can guarantee you that. Once she has that baby, and the next six months after having that baby, one of them is going to be in jail. You heard it from me first. Now, I'm not wishing jail on nobody, but one of them, it might be, he might have to go sit down for a minute because he's doing the most right now. Okay, let's see. All right. <laughs> okay. You have to arrive by boat to enter this hotel. Now, that's, now that's what I'm talking about. You got to take a boat to your hotel room. Let me go ahead and save that because I might have to go on vacation there next. Okay, so we got the team, no hesitation. All right, they be out here, you know, dudes be cutting up in traffic, yo, white lining folks like that. Damn, yo. I hate when people white line me like that, yo. That be making me mad that I got to go chase them down and burble them to death. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. All right, what is this? Nature, let's see. Horrifying in, uh, in Russia. Beat red after a major incident of contamination. Okay, look kind of scary. <laughs> Me as a kid trying to get my Nintendo games to work, blowing on them shits like that. <laughs> okay, shout out to my man Cuba. Okay, small, shiny, and affordable. Three things that I like. <laughs> That's it. All right, let's see. Okay, yo, who seen the game last night? Shout out to my girl for giving me the play-by-pay -play on the phone, yo. We was actually playing video games. She gave me the play-by-pay. -play. I feel like I seen it. Let's see, um, my man, my defame. All right, anyway, so you see, this is how your Instagram is going to look. Not too spicy today, you know. Okay. <laughs> Not too crazy, though, you know. Old school classic. Yo, I, I, yo, little known fact, I was actually there. For this video, this is ice cream on Jamaica Avenue. I was there. They're not gonna, you can't see me in the video, but I was there. Yo, this is like a couple blocks from my crib. I was right there during the ice cream video shoot. And a uh, little, uh, more, little more trivia. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in about maybe 20 different rap videos. <laughs> I'm in 20 different rap videos. We'll talk about that another day. All right. So anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. Let's see if we get... Okay. Let's see if I... Let me refresh and see. Okay. Extra tight. Let's see if anything to see. Okay. All of my people's looking good. Everybody... Look, this dude right here got Jackie. I don't even want to see that. Okay. Yeezy. D is stuck with all those Yeezys. All right. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. <laughs> Okay. All right, anyway, so let's keep it moving. All right, okay. 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 
Okay. All right, anyway. All right, so let's, let, let's wrap this up. But look at that scrolling spin. Let, let me see how my day is going to end. All right, it's going to catch one more. Let's see how my day is going to end. <laughs> ah! Okay, it's going to end like this. Okay, that ain't bad. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, RDA, regular daily activities. I got to say this one more time. Even if you're not a gamer, okay, get this phone right here. If you're into media, because let me show you something one more time. Let's open this up. Aeroactive cooler. Let's go to YouTube Music. Okay, go to Library. Okay, go to uh, Songs. Okay, let's go to Uploads. Come on, goddammit. Damn, I hate this new format they got going on here. All right, check this out. Let's go to, look at this. Look at this, yo. Do y'all hear this? This is a Bluetooth speaker now. Yo, I got a question for you. Yeah, how many times? Crazy. Crazy. Woo. Okay, let me turn it off before I get a copyright. Let me get to wrap this video up. Overall, okay, overall. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Asus ROG 7 Pro, or actually the 7 Ultimate, that's what they call in this one. I'm giving this phone a major, major, major go. I'm not a phone gamer, but I love this phone. This is gonna be my new work phone. Okay, I'm not traveling without this phone. And this is a phone for people who love media. Okay, if you like to be on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Netflix, you know, you just want to be on your phone all day. You want a phone that has a big screen. You want a phone that has a battery that's going to last all day long. And you want a phone that has some ridiculous speakers. Not to mention a phone that's ultra smooth. Okay, 165 hertz refresh rate has the latest and greatest processor and GPU. All of the biometrics work flawlessly. And of course, as soon as I say that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cut on my thumb, so don't don't mind that. But look at the face unlock. You see it for yourself. Biometrics work flawlessly. Notification LED. Okay, looks like a one panel one panel screen without no cutouts. You got two USB Type C charging slots. You got a headphone jack. Okay, you got screen rotation for your home screen. <laughs> Team Apple, you can't even do that. You got innovation. You got the little cooler right now. You got screen on the back, customizable screen. One more thing I wanted to mention too. When I was playing Genshin Impact, when I took it off, I when I took this Aeroactive Cooler off, the back of this phone was ice cold. And I am not exaggerating. It was colder than it is right now with nothing on it. Bro, this is a real cooling situation. I wish I had my little thermostat gun. But this thing actually works. Now, it's not just a speaker with a little fan. You know, it's not like, you know, it's not a little fan. Does it really work or not? You Who knows? With this fan right here, you could feel the wind coming out of it. And when I took it off, the back of this was straight up frosty. 100%. Don't let, don't let this, you know, the gaming, the whole gaming facade turn you off. Like, oh, I don't really play games on my phone, so... Uh, Why well, get a gaming phone? Let me just go ahead and get get another Galaxy. If you're tired of these Galaxy phones and you're tired of these I, these iPhones and you want to just try something different, you're going to love this phone, okay? If you like RGB lights, you like customization, but most importantly, you want some loud, crazy speakers, these phones are insane. Now, if you notice, the display is actually a little bit... It's actually... Let me do a wipe down. It looks like the display might be a little bit smaller, but they might be the same size. It might just feel a little bit smaller. Or maybe it's because of the way they cut. But both of these phones, I never did a full review on this one last year. Both of these phones are top tier. These are the top of the top tier gaming phones. And even this phone right now, the RG6 Pro, it's a beast right now. I would rock this phone today. But the 7, 7 Ultimate is just even better. Even better, little upgrades with the camera. The cooling system is, is, is just crazy. Now, I will be selling both of these phones I, to anybody who want to buy them. 
even though honestly I'll probably keep this as my work phone so I'll sell the um I'll sell the 6 Pro all right, so if you want to buy the 6 Pro, hit me up in the comments and let me know. I'll sell it to you with the Aeroactive cooling system, and I got the box and all of that. I'll make it nice for you. I'll throw something else in there for you, too. Anyway, <laughs> I know. I know, bro. Look, shameless plug, man. I got to make some money some kind of way. Anyway, this is the ROG 7 Ultimate Triple Major Go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody back with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. The stream gangsters on deck. Get the drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. Your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock wanna be up. If you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.